everybody, I am back with an enormous project for a friend of mine. Hello, Daphne. She's a fellow crafter, and I made this mini album for her. Took me a hot minute, but <laughs> I finally did it. Let me get into place. She graduated from the University of Miami Business School. Yay! And okay. University of Miami's colors are orange and green. So I decided to make this album for her so she could put in all her memories of being in business school and all the work that she did. And um, like I said, she's a crafter, so I'm sure she'll appreciate all the work that went into this album. First time, I decided to make a charm. So I put a little fox on it. Oh, and the fox is slipping. The fox, a camera, UM's colors. It's an enormous album because I gave her everything and the kitchen sink. The papers, okay, I'm going to clip off the, take off the um, charm. By the way, I used to hold the charm. This is that Graphic 45 Lion's Head. Adorable, adorable. And I like this, the, um, the back part of it. It's nice and flat, so you just screw it into it and it stays into place you don't have to worry about um covering it you can actually show the back so this is the charm that i made which i'm very proud of myself because i never made a charm so if you don't like it this is my first charm if you like it you can make a charm too because it wasn't as hard as i thought it was going to be just have to, to watch a few um jewelry videos and get the right little tools and you can make your own charm so she gets a little charm and also, I got to play with flowers because Daphne loves flowers like I do. And these are all Prima flowers. You know Prima flowers stands for quality, right? So this paper line comes back to my um, Teresa Collins 9 & Co. I did a video last year, so I still had some of this paper left over. <laughs> and, uh, I decided to use this because, of course, it has the orange and green UM school colors. And I try to keep it, not, not the collegiate orange and green, which is a very bright orange and a very bright green, but I did throw it in there, but just to make it more, you know, fun. So this album actually is a marriage of two of Kathy King's tutorials. It's My Design Mini and Life in Retrospect. So I took pages out of My Design Mini, took pages, the page assembly, out of um, life in retrospect and married them together and even though I used her new um, hidden hinge plus binding look how chunky this thing is it's like a five inch but you know Daphne would like it <laughs> she she likes some chunky and full of color and fun so here I found a paper that was that said um, 2015 with a little graduation cap and I did find this UM tape. You can find collegiate tape here in Florida at Michael's. So I guess at the Michael's in your state, they probably have their own too. And um, I made some tags. And here, this is that Bow Bunny, the, the baby paper. I do like this paper from it, so I think I only used that out of it. There's a little tag. Stick it back in here. I'm going to try and not make this video too long, but you know how it goes. I'll edit it anyway. First page. This has a little magnet. It flips down here. It says, on, your, on a journey, I am on a journey. There's her little graduation cap. She can put a photograph there. Has a little pull tag here. And she can put a photograph there. I was loving this paper. But then I covered it up with the tag. <laughs> and this is two photo mats that come out. And here you see the UM, the UM uh, ribbon, and it opens up like so. Here I, 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 cut, I um, die cut that sentiment, that word die. And my new thing is word dies with foil paper. I don't know, it's just, I can't help it. This is the back side, so you would slide, slide them here in these little stacked belly bands, like one belly band here, one belly band there. I don't know if, if it's a stacked or side-by-side -side belly band. And it goes like that, here now. Is a little pocket here with another pocket here this comes out of the pocket this is just a, a chipboard sticker and this is a bag that I decorated put a little 
tag in there. Slide that back in. Oh, let me see, let me put this. As you can see, this album is so chunky, right? It wasn't supposed to be chunky, but once I started matting and then I got caught up in giving Daphne flips and flaps and all the stuff that crafters like, it became enormous. But it's good enormous. <laughs> here's the back part of that pocket. <laughs> and here's a photo mat. She can stick the photograph here, right here. Let me show you. And I found these little cards um, last year around June. June, July at Michael's. They had a little graduation um, journaling cards. Worked out perfect. This paper that you see, this is die cuts with a view Kinsey. So I used two lines, Kinsey and Teresa Collins Nine and Co. They both have the, the, the orange and the greens. Then here's a side loading tag or a photo mat, I should say. Two photo mats, you did it graduate. And this is the back. And as you can see, I also used a lot of um, gold, gold foil paper. Why not? She worked hard. She deserves it. Here we go with um, three stacked pockets with little pullouts. And here I did the, um, my brain is going blank. Listen, everybody's gone. The house is quiet. I'm like, film, time to film. But I wasn't mentally prepared for it, but I'm doing it anyway. <laughs> this is a, um, oh my goodness, what is this called? Uh, I'll write it in the description. Here's another big jumbo tag. And I also use a lot of stickers. So here it says, um, celebrate diploma. Over this side, I had gotten some um, folders. I think these are Teresa Collins folders or Heidi Swap folders. I think it's Teresa Collins. And I did a little collage here, and I put a little tab here on the side. It opens up like so. Notice how I'm holding up the book because if I, well, I think I can, can let it slide. Here's a pocket with a little, little journaling card, little photo mat. Over on this side, it says class of 2015. The reason why I'm also holding it up too, because of the flowers on the front. See, they're nice and puffy, so I hold it like this. And here are three little tags. And see, I put a little gold on it too. I was enjoying, I enjoyed making this album. I think I had too much fun, that's why it's so chunky. Anyway, so here's three stacked pockets with two little cards on it. She can put a photograph on the back or she can just add more paper, leave it as is, write in date, place, these are photo mat tags, and they stack, flip it over, two more photo mat tags, let me pull out one so you can see it, cute, right? And here, as you can see, I did the UM ribbon again, matches the paper, I thought, see how their, their original colors, if I was to make an album with these colors, it would not be pretty, and it would not be girly. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm putting hints of it in here, but not going crazy with it. So those are those photo mats. I'm going to keep them right here so I can stick them back in later. I'm trying to go through this. Here's another photo mat right there. And this is that paper, that um, Kinsey paper, which worked so fine with the colors. I love adding, adding the hidden hints of yellow in it and everything. This now is another page. I'm going to let that slide. And here... It's like a belly band pocket. See, so this is a journaling spot. Here she can put photographs. It flips out. Photo opportunity, photo opportunity. More photos. Here's a little tag. It goes like this. This is just me decorating the page. A little bit of scrapbooking, why not? Here's a journaling card. And this is one of the um, sentiment dies that I have. So I cut it out of gold foil paper. If you're wondering what gold foil paper I use, I like Basil's gold foil paper. I like Basil paper, period. But I like their gold foil paper also. It cuts very clean. But you have to use a die. I, I tried to use a punch. It still didn't come out. Their edges came out rough. With the, punch, with the die, I guess because of the pressure, it softens the edges. You see it? So that's my new thing now. Next page. This I was looking at all these videos. This is me having fun with a, think of it like a shaker card, but without the card. <laughs> and 
this is a sequence out of the Nine and Co. paper, and using like, you know, the the um, photo. Is this acetate? Yes, I guess it's a soft acetate, and I use the fuse tool to create the pocket, seal it in, and put a card in there, just for a little fun fun feature, and it clips right here. So like I said, you know, Daphne's a crafter, so she'll get it. This paper here is. Um, Bow Bunny So Easy. I think this was one of their journaling cards. I, I was on a hunt for anything orange and green. So this paper is supposed to be some sewing paper like for that type of crafter who also scrapbooks. But it worked here. And this is Simple Stories I Am die cut pieces. And their, their colors worked a lot. You'll see a lot of their little die cut pieces in here. Flip the back. This is a sentiment die that I had cut. Photo Opportunities. And here's a side loading pocket with more photo opportunities. So even though you don't see an journaling card, and even if you don't really see the um, photographs out front, but she can still tuck them in here and still get to enjoy the paper, right? And of course, UM colors go hurricane. I am a former hurricane myself. Went there for my undergrad years. Here's a little stacked pocket no not a stacked pocket belly band here's a belly band and you could get to slide a little card in there this is a journaling card journaling card photo spot photo spot folds back little thing to pull out and you know tuck your photograph in and enjoy photo mats flip it over so this is that life in retrospect page and you pull these little interactive photo mats out and you get a lot of bang for your buck in terms of these um, photo mats. You have a, have a journaling card here and a little die, um, sentiment die cut out in gold foil. Photo mat, photo mat. Here's another, graduation memories. She, she plays with the card, she can stick her photograph in there. More photo opportunity, front and back. And then it slides neatly into these little belly bands. I, I love this, this page assembly that Kathy did with um, Life in Retrospect. I just think it's so cute. And then you get to play right here too. It's not, you can keep it solid or just add a little fun, fun element. And I think, you know, of course I like to add the fun element, right? Flip open this pocket and it's like a, it's like a flat pocket. So the pocket up, up here and a pocket down here. So you get a lot of bang for your buck over this side too. This is a card, um, this is one of those Project Life graduation cards need to stamp the back there stick it back in pull out this top loading ginormous photo mat photo opportunity here decorated with a little piece of gold foil which we are all madly in love with gold foil right i use um photos here on the back here a little card photo mat photo mat little collaging here and this is me playing again with my fuse tool and some sequins. I've been watching videos on card making. I would love to learn how to make a card, but trust me, I can't, I just, no, it's too small, I guess. I can't make a, I can't do something fantastic on an area this, this big. So I can do scrapbooking, the mini albums, card makers, hats off to you guys. Commencement, photo opportunities. And here she can put a nice eight by 10 or collage something. And that's side loading, hence more bulk. But sometimes life gets bulky and it's wonderful anyway. Best ever. And this is just me playing with the paper again. This is that Kinsey paper. And then I started to play with the, I cannot remember what these are called. And I know it has a name, <laughs> I cannot remember. I will write it down in the on the video, trust me. But I decided to put, I just cannot remember, tag tag toppers. There you go. Tag topper and decorated the tag topper using gold foil. In UM colors, of course. And so these are photo mats with tag toppers. Hello, tag toppers. And some of these I didn't like, you know, go crazy telling her where to put. She can put her photograph horizontal vertical whichever way but she has the opportunity to, to do it and if I take them all out which I just realized I should do 
you get to enjoy the Kinsey paper. Great paper, great, great, great paper. This side here, this is just a folder, and um, I added a little tab onto it, a little graduation card, did a little collage here, little sentiment die, stick that back in. I'm gonna stick these here so I can continue. This side now on the back of that folder page, this page, I played, I was, I made this, this book in stages. And depending on the day and the inspiration, I was inspired to do this flip thing, the flaps. So this is a flap here with that um, Bow Bunny So Pretty paper here. These are two photo, photo opportunities. She just gets to enjoy the paper here. Photo opportunity, these lift up so she can stick the photograph underneath it. That's a magnet. I just had to cover it up with a little, little thing, little die cut piece. And this is just a Mar Martha Stewart punch and it just folds neatly. Here's a little snap. Here I just play it again with the paper. On this side, see now what, the only mistake I made was um, one of the biggest page assemblies is in the middle of the album. Do them on the outer side. Do them on the, <laughs> the front or the back, not the middle. But I got so caught up in playing with the paper that after I finished adding a flap, I you know, playing, adding on more paper, da, 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 it became like this thick. So, anyway, this is another spot though that has the belly band. And here I did a lot going on here. Like I added the sequence. As you can see, I was having a sequin moment. This is a tag with a photo spot here, a little journaling opportunity here. She can add more photos back here. Slides in like so, goes straight down. So you can have it peeking. Hello, 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 telephone. Yes. <laughs> Pull these out. These were on the back here. And here's just, I just, I just love the gold foil so much. The best time, she can put a photo there. Photo, photo, photo. Same thing here. Dream big. Photo, photo, photo. And here is that same belly band that you can just stack them back in. And they, they slide in so so nicely this time I played with a punch here this is that same pocket that folds out this is another little journaling spot with um, journaling tag with a photo opportunity of front and back a die sentiment die cut little tabs figure she was in school so I try to keep it you know with the tabs and all that fun interaction fabulous photo she can write something on the back here, photo opportunity, she pulls out the little journaling card. She adds it back in, tucked in nicely. There's a pair of glasses. And that goes in like into that top loading pocket right here. See, I don't want to pull everything and push it off to the side because then I may not know where to put it back after I, and everything goes a certain way in my head. This is another collage. This is a little congrats journaling card another journaling card see because she's a crafter so i had to give her stuff to play with she can pull out and go ooh, and go ooh, look at that she worked so hard in business school just to get this book and play <laughs> i'm kidding uh here on the side class act side loading look at that photo opportunity photo opportunity big photo for her graduation picture or pictures because you know even though you know we're all we're all older and all that is still you want to go do your class pictures of course why not here's some tag toppers again and of course I, I i played with the um gold foil and then the stripe the little um color of course this is me taking liberty with the with, with the shade of orange so there's three photo mats with the tag toppers orange and green now Here. if you hate orange orange and green own paper line but if I'm keeping true to UM go hurricanes here is a little acetate um, journaling card and what I did was create a little pocket here and put a little tab in there so the in the back the paper goes straight up but I noticed I didn't stamp this because I didn't know if she wanted to maybe write something put something I didn't want to mess it up so I left it clean and it slides right back in my little acetate pocket, which I love. And then I added some little journaling, 
journaling die cut pieces. Not journaling die cut pieces. I added some die cut pieces. What am I saying? And a little tab there. These go in here and I'll add them later. Let me keep it over here for the time being. This now is the same Kinsey paper and I just love how the colors go together. Thank goodness. Because if I had done the whole thing with that nine and co, it would have been it would have been driving me crazy. Two tags that pull out. And here just having fun with the paper. That's a little journaling card in the back. Here are the best advice that came from that same journaling card set I told you I got at Michael's graduation. So, you know, if you have somebody graduating like your yourself, your kids, go to Michael's around, you know, the May, June time. Well, you'll find it. Pick it up. Because <laughs> you go back, it's all gone. It's like, didn't I just see this here two weeks ago? What happened to it? Yeah, it's there for a very limited time, like um, like Valentine's, right? Flip this open, and this is where I went crazy with adding flaps. So I added a flap here, played with paper, little card, and die cut pieces, and die cut um, die cuts, and blah blah blah, and, and a piece of vellum here, and I made my stuff very bulky. This I left as a journaling spot. Here's another piece of vellum, and the reason why the vellum looks so bright is because I put the paper behind it, just to. I just liked how this had that look, you know, life and then the, the typewriter. I thought it was cute. I was having too much fun. That's the problem. And then I added on these pieces and added like bulk right here in the middle. Photo spot. Photo spot. Played here with this pocket. This is one of those little Polaroid pieces. Added that photo in here. She lifts this up. See? So she can put that photograph there. Here is a tag. So there's a tag also. Photo, photo. Lots of photo opportunities, lots of lots of opportunities for her to add in, um, you know, little pieces of paper, some class or whatever UM gave her for working so hard, which I'm sure sure they did. The best is yet to come. Best is yet to be. UM colors here, photo opportunity, say cheese, little photograph um, sticker, photograph sticker, camera sticker. All right, I'm enjoying the time alone in the house, but I'm trying to race through this video before everybody gets back and the noise starts again. So <laughs> here, there's a car. Notice how it's nice and quiet. So I'm like rushing through to do this. Two um, tags with photos and then photos on the back, also photo maps on the back. So it's like, I'm, I'm like, come on, get it done, get it done before the door opens up and it's like, yeah. On the back here, piece of um, gold foiling. And this adds here. Come on, come on, come on. In my little pocket. Yes. Now this I was having fun again. See this middle? This is all one middle page, you know. This, all of this, was having too much fun with adding on to it. And then it added a, added a lot of bulk, but I just couldn't help, help myself. See the whole orange and green? Right here, you pull out this little tag with the photo mat on it, photo space on the back, little pocket here, congrats on her big day. And then now this is the same UM. I would have probably lined this with paper and then put it on top because I didn't expect the, the um, ribbon to be so um, transparent. That I didn't like, but it's okay. Photo opportunity, photo opportunity, playing with paper. And this is on one of those same, like I told you, the C Teresa Collins um, folders. So I added a little tab here. And those tabs, they come from the I Am, Simple Stories I Am collection. Here now is another, so it's like folder on folder, I know. This is from Nine, Nine & Co. And you, if you can find this paper, because it's not a new paper, cheap. Now it's cheap, thank goodness. And they have all kinds of accessories for it. And I guess there's a lot left because people don't like the orange, but I think it's great. I think it's fun, it's colorful, it makes you smile. Photo opportunity on the back of the same folder. So it's like a folder attached, a folder attached to the folder. Notice here, I put an eighth of an inch score so it would fold down nicely without having a magnet. Back here, little photo mat, um, collage with a pocket. She can write something, she can write something here, playing with little die cut pieces. Oh, what fun. 
here. I, I got a little graduation. I got some um, Jolie's. I think they were Jolie's and Recollections. Combination of the two of um, graduation stickers. So did a little sticker, did a little journaling card, made a little collage. It flips open like so. Let me show you. Down here at the bottom, ooh la la, photograph. Comes up like this. And then I turned here into a pocket because Suzanne did not have enough bulk, but I guess I needed more bulk. So here's a little pocket. She can add whatever she wants here. Photograph, it folds up nicely. And then, right here, this is just a little decorative strip. It folds out again. So you can see this particular day when I worked on this section of it, because this, this was over a period of time. And I always worked on it when I was inspired. I didn't work on it because I was like in a rush to work on it. I wanted it to be like, every page there is a gem because I, I am giving it to somebody who is a crafter and she deserves to be like, ooh, wow. She worked hard, she can go, oh yeah, look at that. She put wishes over here with a little star. And the, the, the diploma here, a little photos here and they of course lift up. She can write something here, pull out this card again. See, I kept the stars going because I think Daphne's a star. Okay, <laughs> yes, I'm corny like that. Photo mat, do what you love. Little graduate sticker, having fun again with the gold foiling. So you can tell when I have like a dead dead space here, instead of putting a punch, sometimes I put the punch. I kind of like this foiling. I don't know what it is. It, it looks great to me. And so that, and then it opens out this way. So you saw what happened. This pocket, and this is all one page assembly. It's an enormous page assembly. You could probably make a mini album out of just this little page assembly. Um, journaling card. Photo opportunity, two tags with a little piece of uh, journaling acetate right here, acetate card, photo, photo, and both ends open so she can go right up underneath it like so. Isn't that fun? See, as a crafter, you guys get it. <laughs> the book is so chunky. The book is so chunky. Here's a little card, and on the back here, this is just straight. There is no... This is just a photo opportunity here, but I thought the paper was so pretty and the punches that I didn't want to go further with it. In the back, I went further with it. So, you know, couldn't help myself. Here's a little slant pocket, same with the orange and green and a little card here. It opens up like so. This is just a card and I left it blank here. Here's a side loading pocket with the paper my wish for you journaling cards goes right here cute 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 opens out like so we're almost to the end yay it flips out like this and i'm going to do this before everybody gets home dream out loud this is a journaling card photo opportunity photo opportunity here Hats off to the grad, photo spot, little tag, beautiful paper. This is that Webster's paper. I love that paper. I've put it in so many projects and I love it. You guys are over it. Use whatever you want, but I love the paper, <laughs> so I can't help it. Um, this is a little die cut. I think this is an Anna, Anna Griffin die cut piece. I just put it here on this little tag, tag closure. There you go. Two little journaling cards, one that has a photo mat on it. Here's a belly band. So it slides in the belly band. But then you're like, what does this hold? This little tag closure, tab, yeah, tag closure, holds this whole assembly here with the photo opportunities. So if she took um, graduate portraits and she has small ones, she can put all four different poses. I was thinking about you, girl. And so she can put them there and she will sparkle and shine. And here, there's a pocket. Here, there's a photo opportunity. Do more of what makes you happy. Class of 2015, lucky me, see? Behind it, look at that. See, you don't see it? Then, woo, surprise, look at what she gets. And um, up here, there's another. So it's like a stacked pocket. Another opportunity, I left this blank. And a little photo, photo opportunity there. And of course, I put the UM colors and a little sentiment die special because she is special. And this does not fold out. 
surprise, surprise. Here is lined off with this beautiful paper from Nine & Co. Here I did a little collage on the top. I am, that's that um, Simple Stories I am paper. And then photo opportunity. Isn't that paper beautiful with the doily? Slides in the back there, folds like so, and closes, flip over. Yes, and I'm still going. Playing again with the with the sealed pocket with the sequins. Just, just having fun. And I attach it on the inside of this pocket. This slides out. It's a blessing that she went to school and that she graduated from a business school. Although she's already a working professional, but you know. More education never hurts. We're always learning, right? Always learning. Always be open to learning more. Just like in crafting. We're always learning something new every day, right? Here is a folder, another one of the Teresa Collins folder. And I added a strip of paper here, some punch here, a tag, a die cut piece, and a tab. Went to town on this little piece, right? So it looked like it came like that, but it was just actually just a white folder page. This is um, a sticker, and I layered it on some, I just punched out some circles and created that closure, magnetic closure. Up here, journaling spot, amazing. I think I use amazing in here so much, but you know, when you, when you go, to, go to school like that, you know, business school, and you, and you graduate, it's, it's, it's amazing. You did a great job. So... That must have been my thinking. Photo mat, photo mat, photo mat. I did amazing like four times in here. But I think I just, I just love the word and I love, love the die. So I cut um, a little punch piece here, having fun with the paper, magnet. Here is another one of the Life in Retrospect page with a little um, belly band. Oh, I forgot my little fox here. I have to go find my fox. I had stuck this little piece on it. And then, <laughs> so I had to go find my little fox to put here. So this page comes with this little fox on it. And it's an interactive piece. Uh, see, so the, the fox comes in the um, nine and co paper. So, see, you like that? Fox charm, fox die cut piece with the paper. That's where my thinking went. Okay, live it up with her little foxy fox with a, with a little piece of, um, what is that, a rhinestone? Yeah, I guess it's a rhinestone, rhinestone flower. Kinsey paper, little tag. I didn't make the tags the full length because I just love the paper behind it. I can't help it. UM colors, flip it over, more UM colors. These are just plain black, black and white photo mats. So I didn't go crazy with it because I, I do want to leave spots to put photographs. And, um, doo -doo 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 -doo. and as you can see, even though I'm doing this now, see how they slide? They, they slide in pretty easy, don't they? Here's a little journaling card, Be Fearless. Over here, another pocket. I found this little Jolie's... Um, it's, it's a sticker, but it's not a sticker. I don't know what, what would you call this. Just a diploma piece. This, I was having fun. I um, found this envelope, put two tags in it. Notice all the go foiling. Congrats, graduate with a little diploma and all that glitter. Yes. See, I, I made a few extra things, and then after I made them, and then I wanted to include them in the album, they don't fit. Because <laughs> the album would be like this. I made this pocket using um, a pocket pocket die. You know one of the, the dies that cuts in and you assemble the pocket? And I made all this interaction, look at all that. With a paper clip and all this popping up and all this fun stuff. And then I realized it's so bulky, but I'm gonna still give it to her. She can put them in there, you know, or she can keep it on the side of it. Here's a little photo opportunity. This lifts, this lifts up to slip, stick the photograph on. Um, just playing with paper here. All of this, the, the, the back of the paper is the alphabet. These are just strips, just playing with strips and colors just to add interest. Side lo loading here, graduation, 
photo photo opportunities left the back plane I left the back plane for large photographs five by sevens eight by tens I didn't want to um, say where every photograph needs to go large photo mat and how they sh they should go you know what I mean photo mat photo mat photo mat I'll put this in afterwards there is the pockets the stacked pockets and see that looks like it's in it but it's not it's just lining behind it because i just think it needed that a little extra um here is a angled pocket and just playing with paper again and the stickers and all that this is i made this it's like a triple fold little wallet yes it's a i didn't think it was going to be bulky but once i matted it of course it became bulky but i just love it see it has a little journaling spot with a little um, graduation, with a little diploma in it. And here, it, I just was having fun with the colors in the paper, so I'm putting it in here. Bulky or not, there it goes. Happy, happy. On the back, ooh, I must be smooshing the flowers on the front. There's a pocket, flips open like so, pulls out with this tag, photo mat tag. Enjoy the paper. And I like this craft paper. This paper came from Michael's, this um, craft paper with the gold dots. It, it acted like a neutral with the colors. See, I, I found the black sometimes to be too black, too, too, too stark. So I found this to be a nice neutral. Here, more bang for the buck. This is um, a waterfall uh, photo pockets. So I put tell your story and she can load the photographs right up here on the top of, of each one so you can she can load a photo here so these these she can the, the little white paper she can actually take out and just put put photographs in it and then journaling spot isn't that cute yes bulky but cute open up photo opportunity photo opportunity photo opportunity playing with the paper here no pockets or anything here I learned my lesson I didn't need to add more pockets or I would have had like an eight inch spine. This here is a um, little side loading pocket playing with the paper. This is that um, Kinsey paper. Take out the little acetate journal card, photograph, photograph, two, two for one special, right? Here's a little pocket. You pull it out. You get little interactive tags. Let me show you the little pocket. I love these little pocket dies, but I rarely use them. I really need to use them more often. Up here is a tall pocket, and there's a tall tag for that pocket. Again, featuring one of my favorite papers from Webster's Pages. This is a magnetic closure. I left the magnet showing, and it holds this down. So here it just says, this is my story. You flip it open, and so this is a photo opportunity. Can I get it open? Yes. Photo opportunity. There you go. And uh, photo opportunity, photo opportunity, and big photo opportunity playing again with just appreciating, I should say, that Kinsey paper. I love the flowers on it, and I just think it goes with the whole color scheme. Put this back here. Over here, remove the um, paper clip. And here I was just playing with paper, you know, die cut pieces, journaling card, flip it out, little photo opportunity, flip these out and see this time I fussy cut the paper and she can slide her photograph in there or she can leave it like this with the two little, two little cards there, tag and journaling card, flip it out. Oh, this was pinned. Follow your dreams and a little acetate tag goes here on the outside. And so that's a little photo opportunity, journaling spot, photo opportunity that flips, two photo opportunity flaps, that's four photographs. Let me, let me put this back on. And see, two little tags, acetate tag, regular tag, just create a little pocket with two little journaling cards here. Two small two by twos. These pull out for that big pocket here. I am strong. Yes, she is. There you go. Photo opportunities. Slide them in here. Flip this back. 
all nice and neat. Last page. Big pocket. Did not want to play with the paper because I just love this paper. There we go. Again with the paper. Notice the pattern. I purposely did that. Yes, I did. <laughs> I was having fun making this project, I'm telling you. Couldn't help myself. And one of my favorite things is this is a bow bunny craft pocket. There's nothing inside of the pocket. So you would unwrap it and she can tuck her papers in there. But here, this is an acetate card, acetate journaling card. She can tuck something in here. For example, what can I tuck? Let me, let me tuck this. Let me show you what, I'm, what I need to say. You can tuck, see, something behind it, like so. Love that. But the back, last page. Last but not least, this is a journaling card with gold foiling, and I think something is rubbing on it, but behind it, I had, so I made a pocket with a journaling card, and then I put a photo mat, see? But the photo mat fits like an invisible photo mat. Don't you love that? I think this is awesome. This is four by six. I've never done this before, but I was like, oh, that's cool. So I made it so it looks like, you know, oh, and then, but it moves. It moves out. You put it in. I don't know. I was just, I was just like surprised and patting myself on the back that I made a little functional card spot. That's exactly four by six. Yay for me, huh? <laughs> 2015 on the back. My same favorite paper. Last tags. 2015, the good stuff. Little little pocket here again, little um use my pocket die. Another right. This is the back cover. So again, this is a stein, and yes, this is craft text with some brads on it, decorative brads. The brads don't go all the way through. This is the front, all prima flowers, you know, collaged together in great prima happiness. And these gold leaves are um, dies. I cut them with the gold foil paper just to add some interest and color variation than just green and black, green and green and orange and green and orange and a little bit of black. And um, did some stickles. And also, I found these pearls and I would tuck these pearls in. I think it just makes it look, you know, luxe. And then here I use that Tim Holtz little. What is this called? Lob lobster clasp, I think it is. So you just put your lobster clasp. When she's looking at it, she can take it off when she's looking at it. And when she's storing it, it can be stored like so with her little lion. I think it's adorable. So I hope you enjoyed my enormous <laughs> graduation mini album. So if you have somebody graduating, you still have time. Graduation is in June, right? May, June, you have time. And if you don't want to do my design, you could do what I did. Take, take two and combine them. I did have to adjust the life in retrospect to the my design mini size. So that they, they, they don't fit perfect. But it's an easy adjustment with the measurements. It's once you get the height, the height and the width, everything else falls into place. It, it, I didn't have to adjust all of, the, all of these extra parts in each, in each page assembly. So this is my first, but not my last graduation album because um, my son graduated last year, high school graduation. So I have to do high school. I have to do prom. Notice you haven't seen that yet. It's coming, it's coming soon, soon. I don't know when, but soon. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I'm not posting this video until I give this gift to Daphne, all right? Take care, guys. Until next time. Bye.